drop, no, the cave drop spawns in. I think it's on the right hand side over here. I'm just scared about a Mosasaur sitting in a corner waiting to eat us. I'm pretty sure it's in here, yeah. Is there a cave drop? Cave drop for me? Cave drop? Oh my god! That is terrifying! Holy smokes! I did not see that. Oh my god. What the hell are you doing, mate? You are... Terrifying. Oh my god. Talk about a heart attack waiting to happen. That thing just, it's just sitting there. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? CJ the Cheese DJ here, and we are back with another Ark Story episode for you guys today. Today, guys, we are going to be going out and uh, grabbing some artifacts and hopefully another rotter team. Uh, so today's just going to be a bit of a general one that we need to get done. Uh, we need to go out and get some artifacts so that we can do the next tier of the Megapithecus. Main reason we're doing this is because we've got to wait for our Tech Rexes to breed up. So we're also going to make some shotgun ammo because we got this bad boy shoddy from a yellow drop. It's 203 weapon damage. Uh, we also got a bunch of all this stuff from weapon drops as well. Uh, pretty decent stuff, but for now it's going to just get whacked away. Just wanted to show you guys what we got. Uh, let's whack it in this bad boy. Sweet. Uh, we're also going to be making some more medical brews because we just, we always need to carry those on us and uh, What's wandering around? Oh, it's just a, it's just a tail. Uh, that's got 13 minutes. That's got 40 minutes. We're also breeding, doing more of that. Uh, I need some Tinto berries though, which there should be some in there. Jokes, there is absolutely none. I should have some in here. We're also breeding up our overses as per usual, cause we just, you need to breed them. So we can just have a solid amount of uh, overses coming out so we can have females. That's got seven minutes, sweet. So we'll come back for that. For now, big fella, you can get in here and we're gonna go back over here. I don't know if this guy's got any Tinto berries on him. We'll find out. He does, awesome, that's what we need. So we need the Tinto berries. I'm gonna eat that and we're gonna take these Tintos. There we go, that should be more than enough. And bomb, done. All right, so we've got the narcotics, we've got the Tinto berries. The water is down at the uh, industrial cooker. Where is my RG at? Over here. There it is. So, yeah, but we're going to go do the the South Island cave, I think it is called, for the artifact of the pack. Uh, so we need an artifact of the pack and artifact of the brute. Artifact of the brute is that underwater cave uh, that had the Moser just sitting there waiting for us to just eat. So we need to take out, I'm thinking we'll take our Sarko, I don't know. I was like, do we take our Sarko or do we take our Barry? Kind of on the fence about that one, our Sarko is a lot more tankier than uh, our Barry and it also has the better saddle, so I'll probably just take the Sarko and it is faster. But um, yeah, we'll take the Barry to the other cave, but that cave is pretty easy. We just need to get to that point where the ruins are and then we can grapple up and uh, we should be able to get the artifact like that. Turn that bad boy on and we should get medical brews. Awesome. So how many berries do we use? Is it five? 20 berries. And how many narcs? Two narcs. Okay. Sweet. So that's going to be cooking up for us. That's awesome. That's all set. Uh, we're just going to wait for this Ovis to pop, get some food into it. And then we're going to go head out and do the artifacts. No, first what we're going to do is we're going to track down an otter. We need an otter so that we can just bulk, bulk, uh, bulk store, I guess. Bulk store the artifacts. We're going to need to get an otter first. So we're going to have to track down one of those big boys. And uh, we're also making some shoddy ammo just so we have some shotgun ammo with us in case anything decides to try and... Uh, Try and go us here, but I think we should be good. I think we should be good. All our Rexes are still at the blue orb. I don't know when we're going to replace them yet. We're going to probably get a line full of tech Rexes, and then we'll uh, we'll swap them all over. There's also an Alpha Rex that's spawned in on the map that we have to go take care of uh, for the extra XP. Uh, let's go ammo, and how many can we make? One. Wonderful. Do I have no... Okay, I have no gunpowder because I used all of it to make the simple bullets rip. I have a hundred st stack of a hundred. We've got more charcoal up at our uh, metal refinery place. I just have to go up there and actually get it. Uh, Ovis, Ovis, Ovis. I think it's only going to have like five more minutes or something. We're going to wait for this Ovis to uh, give birth. Look at how chunky it is. We've got five minutes and then uh, and then we'll be on our merry way and keep uh, and keep going. Alrighty, guys. Baby Ovis is out and it's looking like a female. Awesome, it is a female. Uh, it helps if I have some berries with me. Give me those back, big fella. Thank you very much. All right, this bad boy can take those. He's not going to be able to hold much. We'll get him over here, though. So he doesn't grow up in his parents' butts. That would probably be a good thing. All right, 
And yeah, that should be fine. Wonder how much damage an imprinted Ovis will do. I'm glad it's another female. It means we can keep uh, keep breeding it, keep them going. Uh, take some more berries, little dude. Uh, how long have you got? 30 minutes. Okay, sweet. So that's good. That little dude's going to grow up. We're going to chuck some more berries in here. There should be some in here. Yeah, we'll chuck those in there though. And I will grab the rest of these because you are definitely not going to need them, mate. Awesome. And chuck them all in there. All right, sweet. So now we've got that sorted, uh, I'll probably take... I'm going to take those out so we can make more med brews. And they can go back in here. And then I think we'll just give the baby over one more stack. I don't know. How long, how long... How much can you take? You can only hold five at the moment. I don't know. We're going to have to go do the caves. Uh, so I'll probably just take the... Do I want to take the Sarko to both? Did we do it with the Sarko last time? I don't remember. I don't remember. This bad boy is going to be ready to mate in four minutes. Our female is going to be ready to mate in another 30 minutes. We also have to get our theory lines up and running for the dragon. Ugh. I'm not looking forward to the dragon. I don't know. We've got to find some high level theories. But we'll uh, we'll bring you guys back when we're heading to the caves. We're going to sit around base for a second or so and uh, get the next tech rex egg. And uh, try and keep this baby over us alive with uh, some more food. But if you guys find yourselves enjoying the video today, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below for more. It'd uh, really be great. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, we just got to the Redwoods and for a second there, I thought this guy was like a literal poo. Like I thought he was like a giant poo. He's only level 10, I'm going to kill this guy. We're out here looking for otters. Ooh. Sorry big fella, I guess that's better than being stuck in the rock forever. Uh, so we're out here looking for otters. There's a ton of the Hesperonuses. I'm hoping there's otters out here. There's a ton of fish, so... Oh god, that is terrifying. Is it hitting the fish? I'm gonna drag this bad boy around. Just in case. Free kill. Oh, it's attacking him. I didn't realize it attacked him. We're gonna swap it out. Is there a otter around here? Ton of saber-toothed salmons. Um, not seeing any otters. Maybe we, do we swim fast? Oh wait, hold on. Is that one there? That is one there, I think. Ooh, level 100 female. I will take it. Uh, I dropped the fish. You are one heckin' big boy. I don't want to pick a fight with that because it will uh, it will kill us. It'll definitely kill us. Let's drag this fishy over to our new best friend. Hello, bloodlust replacement and feed. 19 point something something. Let's grab the coelacanth here. Drag you around. Come on, Otter. I know you want to be my new best friend. Stop, stop denying it. Stop swimming away from me. Don't go into water. How long we got? A second? Feed? Oh gosh. Alright, we're definitely going to need to kill some of these saber tooth salmon, I think. Where did it go? Okay, it's just there. I don't want it to go on land. Otherwise, it might be slightly difficult to try and track down. I think if I, if I feed it that big fish right there, we'll be fine. See if we can get one of the Hesperonuses to aggro on it. Uh, 0 0.9. Hold on, that's a big coelacanth right here. 1.2. Take a 1.2. Hopefully this will give us a little bit more. I don't want to attack the saber tooth salmon because the whole swarm of them will literally attack us. And uh, I, don't, I don't fancy getting myself bloodied and destroyed by a bunch of fish today. Hold on, hold on. Come here, come here little lady. Alright, 50%. Oh gosh, am I going to have to kill one of these? You got 10 seconds. Really don't want to kill some salmon. But uh, we should... I don't know if there's enough coelacanths in the water to do so. Right in the butt. Shh. Chuck it right in there. Awesome. All right, let's get one more, two more coelacanths. There's a freaking Kano swimming around in here. Hello, big fella. Uh, you aren't supposed to be here. Oh, gosh, this is bad. I need to get on land so I can shoot it. It is coming after me. Good thing it's a giant slow poke. That's a big fish. Bloody hell. Okay. Thank golly gosh for that. All right, we've got another coelacanth here. Let's grab that and track down this otter again. I wonder if we can drag the corpse of the Kano to it. If it'll totally take it. Uh, anyone see the otter? There it is there on the left. Don't tell me you've lost a lot of effectiveness because I don't think I'll be able to do this again. Come here, little girl. And... Alright, one more coelacanth. One more and we'll have our brand new otter. And it's a... It's a I don't remember what level bloodlust was. I don't remember what level he was, but he would have been a high level because he had quite a bit of health, I think, on him. Alright, let's grab this guy. Hopefully, hopefully you're enough. Where is this little otter? Hello, otter, where are you? Hmm. I have lost sight of the otter. 
Well, this could be disastrous. Uh, where did it actually go? There it is. Oh. Just having heart palpitations there for a second. Take the fish. Oh, what? 93.7%. Of course. Is there a silicanth? No, nope. I think there was one over here. Yes. I see you. Don't you swim away from me because I'm going to use your body to har uh, not harvest, to tame something. Give me. Give me. Give me. There you go. All right, sweet. That's our new water tamed up. That means we can go do the artifacts now. I uh, probably should have cried up our Sarko so we didn't have to go back to base for it, but looks like we're going back to base for it. I guess we can put a helmet on the otter then. That'll that'll make things a little bit easier for us and make it a little bit tankier. And huh. awesome, awesome, awesome. We got a new otter, 145. I will take it. Uh, honestly, I was going to tame up any level, to be completely honest. I wasn't dealing with... Uh, wasn't dealing with the freezing cold and having to go back to those damn caves for more artifacts, that's for sure. So we're going to go back to base now. We're going to grab our Sarko and then we're going to fly off to the coast. Do the underwater cave first, I think, because that's probably the most treacherous and scary one out of the lot. And uh, and then we'll come back and we'll do the uh, the cave one. But we're going to need a crossbow and a grappling hook or two to, uh, to do that one. Am I heading the right direction? I think we're heading the wrong direction. Yep. All right. Sweet. We'll bring you guys back when we're at the uh, at the cave. Alrighty, guys. We are back in the ocean. We're heading to uh, the caverns of Lost Faith, which is where the artifact of the brood is. So we're just gonna make our way around here. I can't remember the exact location of it. I know it's like in this general vicinity of an area. I don't know how far down. I can't remember how far down we had to go some plesiosaurs down there. Don't know if we want to fight those guys. I'm pretty sure it's just here. We've got the scuba goggles on so we can try and see things a little bit clearer. Uh, I think this is it. Normally when you see this kelpie grass stuff, that means there's a cave. Normally, maybe. I don't know. It does not look like it. It doesn't look like these scuba goggles are helping either, which is no surprise there. I don't know why it's... It's like, yeah, that's weird. It's like a weird field thing that's going on. Hold on. Is this the entrance right here? Bingo. Found the entrance. What is that? Hold on. That's a Pasillo. What level are you? 65. I mean, not bad. Not a bad level, but eh. All right, sweet. We can see now. Hallelujah. Oh, we are going to drown. I forgot to bring oxygen tank. Oxygen tank. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. I know there's oxygen in here somewhere. It's just getting to it. Oh god, we're in trouble. Is this already going to be over before we before we even began? I completely forgot. Oh, this is it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Swim, my soccer boy. All right, we should be fine. We should be right. Fresh air. Alrighty. Well, we're gonna have to be pretty careful from here on out. We did bring some uh, med brews so we can just chow down on those bad boys. But that was a pretty in, uh, pretty easy accessing the cave. I just want to keep an eye out for any killer mosasaurs that want to try and take a munch out of me. There is a drop down here. Let's grab this bad boy. What do we got? Oh, shit, yeah. Ascendant compound bow. I will take that. Hallelujah. I mean, not hallelujah, but thank you. Uh, I'm just trying to see if there's that other, not cave entrance, but that other area where... Wait, what? There's two areas. Where, uh, where that other artifact... Drop. No, the cave drop spawns in. I think it's on the right hand side over here. I'm just scared about a mosasaur sitting in a corner waiting to eat us. I'm pretty sure it's in here. Yeah. Is there a cave drop? Cave drop for me. Cave drop. Oh my god! That is terrifying. Holy smokes. I did not see that. Oh my god. What the hell are you doing, mate? You are... Terrifying. Oh my god. Talk about a heart attack waiting to happen. That thing just, it's just sitting there. That was terrifying. Alright, no drop here. There was a freaking stray megalodon waiting to eat us though. He was like, I know CJ's coming. We're going to get the bounce on him and bloody eat the crap out of him. Whew, my heart. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, pretty sure it's this way to the artifact. We're going to surface here and now we'll die. There is a Mosasaur waiting down there for me. Uh, let's check its level. Hopefully it doesn't aggro. Okay, 300. We're just going to just keep swimming by that guy. Just ignore it. Shouldn't aggro on us. Just going to swim straight past it. Just keep swimming. All right, we're fine. 
I am not engaging with a level 300 Mosasaur, that is for sure. All right, pretty sure this is the right way to the artifact, and uh, pretty much the goal here is we're going to grab the artifact, and then we're going to wait for it to respawn in, and just completely stock up our otter. And artifact's right in there, awesome. Because, uh, yeah, we ain't we ain't going to be dealing with that. I've got to try and pick off the Nidarias as well, if I can. So that they don't stun our Psycho. And then we can just sit in the water and won't have to worry. Because if we kill all the Megalodons, we'll be fine. The only concern I have is the Nidarias. But that's it. That's why we brought our Long Neck for our shotgun. Only thing is we can't use that underwater. But we should be okay here. Alright. Uh, is there a lot of them in here anyway? There's not even that many. Let's just snipe these bad boys out of existence. You're dead. And we'll kill this last one. Boom. Easy. Is that all? That's the majority of them. There's a bunch of Megalodons in here. We can deal with those guys pretty easily. Oh! Electrophilophilosis! They're the ones that are a pain in the ass as well. I don't want to have to deal with them. Okay. Don't want to have to deal with the electric eels. That worked out swimmingly. Oh, actually, we hit them that time. Because I know they, they they have the stun, but it's not as effective as the Nidarias. The Nidarias are the ones that you got to watch out for. There is one right there that's going to try and shock us. If I can sit here and try and kite them. I don't know if this is going to penetrate. Oh, it did. Hello. Can we... I wonder if we can snipe out these guys. Okay. That's going to waste a lot of bullets if we try and do it that way. So I think we'll skip out on that way. Let's just come in here and... Uh, I don't know. We'll try and deal with them. I can't remember if they shock you off your mount as well. I probably should have brought a crossbow, to be honest. I mean, they're not aggroing on me. Whoa. What happened to the sharks and stuff? They're not aggroing on, aggroing on me, so I think we'll just come down here. Holy smokes! Okay, here they come. Look at the size of that fish! That's a damn big fish. All right, here they come. I'm pretty sure they can't stun us off. Look at the size of that damn saber tooth salmon. It's huge. All right, we're just going to keep eating these guys, trying to kill them. Yeah, there we go. Easy. They do do the stun, but it's nothing that... We can easily kill them. I think we can easily kill them. I don't know. We'll find out in a second. I think there's a 180 in here. I can't get over the size of that fish. I think that's the biggest. I've got to help off and see what size it is once we kill these guys. Maybe I can kite them back to the river opening, the water opening, and we can just shoot them from there. It's probably going to be the easiest, because these guys do get pack bonuses, and we are starting to look a little bit wary for health. Let's just try and smack them. Try and munch them. That one's pretty close to being dead. What size are you? 2.3. Damn, I don't know if we've seen a bigger one than that, but that's pretty damn big. Alright, one's down. Yeah, these guys just don't seem really... Oh, here's another one. This one's low too. Ah, oh, shit. Come on! Are you kidding me? God! Oh, shit. Damn freaking raptors. It was a level 15 sucker too. It wasn't even that high of a level and it just killed our freaking Tyranidon. Wonderful. Oh, that's annoying. And that was our colorful one too. Ah, oh, man. Looks like we're going back to base on the back of our Sarko. Let's just hunt these guys down. They're annoying me now. We're just going to kill them. Where's the other one? Oh, they're like one hits. That's why they're swimming away from us. Alright, let's grab the artifact. Boom. Awesome. Alright. We're going to sit around here, guys. Babysit this artifact. And uh, we're going to grab as many of them as we possibly can. Okay, and now there's a freaking raptor in our base. Oh, no wonder why we're getting death messages for... That was our Ovis. I really hope it wasn't our mail. Crap, that's annoying. All right, hopefully something deals with this raptor. Otherwise, we're in trouble. Actually, no, we can't get back here. And you can't, uh, you can't sleep and bag it either. Oh, I just don't want to see any more death messages. I'm praying for no more death messages. Alrighty, guys, we are heading out of the cave. We've got about six of the artifacts, which is really good. But we've lost two overses now. The raptor's still in there. It's it's killing stuff. So we can't hang around to get any more. Our uh, Alda has the weight capacity to do it. 
but I can't stick around any longer. We've got to go back, make sure this raptor's dead before it kills anything else. Oh, I just oh, I can't believe it. Our freaking overses now are dead. Like, oh, it's so frustrating. I guess it doesn't really matter because we've got the kibble, but still. It's nice to have the overses to be able to bloody get mudden, but uh, it's frustrating as hell. So we're going to get back to base. We're going to sort this raptor out. I haven't gotten any more death messages aside from the overs. But that doesn't mean it's not attacking that Megatherium that we parked next to it. Our Rexes that are on passive. So we need to get back to base ASAP and uh, sort this bloody bastard out. Alrighty guys, we're back at base and... Uh... Oh, tower water. I was like, what the hell's attacking it? And uh, it looks like the Listro might have killed the bloody Raptor. It was definitely munching around here for a long time. That's freaking annoying though because... Oh, man. I don't know, it's frustrating as heck. We lost a Pteranodon. We lost two of our Overses. I might as well just harvest this one up. I've got to sort this out. I, don't know, I thought we had the base protected enough. Turns out we didn't have it protected enough. Stop eating all the mud in your pig. Alright. We're going to cook all this mud and up. Oh, it's going to spoil if we keep it raw. Alright, i really got to start putting some dinos onto, onto neutral. That's for sure. Okay, give up on shooting that true on whatever. Uh, so yeah, let's let's cook all this mud up before it spoils. There's not really anything we can really tame. Uh, just do that. Thank you, and we'll grab one of these. All right, I will show you how many artifacts we got though. Um, I think our UDs are breeding up there, over there. Let's turn that on. So chuck this little dude out, little lady out. There we go. You can see we got seven of the artifacts. So we got a decent amount. I'm just glad something came along and killed the freaking raptor. So let's chuck all these in here. It's going to be a little bit of a time constraint. Not time constraint. Time consuming. Because we can only have one on us at a time. But nonetheless, that pretty much means we won't have to go out and get any more artifacts. Unless we decide to like farm for, for element. Which honestly we'll probably do. Because what? The tech replicator costs 200 element. 100 element. So we're going to need to do a little bit of farming for that. So, we definitely have the means to now that we've got these artifacts. Uh, honestly, I'm probably going to try and do the farming on the Beta Megapithecus. Because that's probably going to be the easiest one. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Depends. I can't remember what other items we need for it, though. That's that done. Let's come in here and chuck the rest of that in. Awesome. All right. And let's just check this. And, uh, yeah, we'll bring you guys back when we are at the other cave. But we got another Juicy Juicy UD Egg. Awesome. Thank you very much. I don't know if we should turn the breeding rates up. Takes about an hour in between egg langs to get another egg going. So, I, I'm kind of happy with that. But at the same time, if we want to get like mutations and shit like that, we're going to need to speed it up quite a lot. So, I am not too sure. Let's do that. Uh, we got any more artifacts on us, little dude? No, we don't. Awesome. All right, let's offload everything that we don't need. And uh, yeah, we'll bring you guys back when we're at the other cave. Alrighty, guys. We just made it to the next cave. Now, if I remember correctly... We have to head to the... We're going to gamma up here so we can see a little bit better. We have to head to the ruins. And then from the ruins, we just go straight ahead and we can grapple up to where the artifact is. Pretty sure it's this cave that we need to do that in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this cave. So let's just... Uh, I'm not going to throw our Sarka out just yet because I'm pretty sure there are some points where he gets stuck. We don't exactly want that to happen. Uh, and this should be the one with the windy room. The huge windy room. Yeah, this is it here. Uh, oh god. Oh gosh. Alright, we're fine. I don't know if our shotgun is better than our uh, simple pistol. If you guys remember that simple pistol we had. That thing was an absolute madman. It was crazy. So I don't know if that's better. I'm going to snipe that one, though. Okay, never mind. We didn't snipe that one. Oh, God. They're coming out of the walls. Kill it. Run. Don't want to get mega rabies. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. How many bullets do we have? Not many. Not too many bullets left. Alright, so we're going to have to be a bit conservative with those. Uh, definitely do not want to fall down to that death pit. We're in the damn walls, though. Cool. Okay. 
Let's swap over here. Boom. Oh, crap. Boom. Boom. All right. Ooh, I was worried there for a second. Have I put my full armor on? Yeah, I have. All right. I think we can throw out the Psycho now. Oh, God. There's scorpions and titan bowers. Oh, you are a tanky boy, aren't you? I think you're a shotgun bullet to death. That's a lot of dudes. All right. Stuff it. I think we brought our saber to, to this cave, actually. I'm throwing out the Sarko. I don't even care anymore. We just... We need to kill this stuff, and I can't do it on foot. I mean, I probably can, but it's just a death wish waiting to happen. Get him, little Oni. Uh, Otter. Well, good to see that our Otter is helping out as well. 24 damage. That's where that's coming from. Oh, these damn Onyx. They're strong. They're strong boys. Alright, can we fire on the back of this? Yeah, we can. Of course, we got Mega Rabies. We got Med Bruce. Oh, I can't kill this thing. Can you, like, die, you damn bastard? Alright, that's dead. We're gonna have to keep ourselves alive here with the, uh, Mega Rabies. We should be able to survive. We've, we've got the potions, and I'm pretty sure last time we got Mega Rabies, we just, um, we just tanked through, and I think we had, like, the smallest amount of HP left. Just gonna have to keep an eye out on the health is all. Can we get through this cave, big guy? Yes, you can. More on it, of course there are. I think we'll be alright in terms of health. I think we'll be okay. All these freaking animals need to die though! Oh, we got Mega Rabies again. We reset the timer. Alright, we got it. I hate Onyx. Okay, sweet. So we're good. Let's not go that way. Let's bank around here. Actually, I'll see if there's any Titan of Bowl of Venom as well. Because uh, we are going to need Titan of Bowl of Venom. Yoink, take that. Awesome. All right, let's keep going. Definitely want to kill these guys before they get shit attack off. Oh, that'll happen. Wonderful. Okay, well, let's just kill these after Pluris now. They've broken all our armor, so... Okay, never mind. Now they've broken all our armor. That was a 145 boy. Can I not get through here? Alright, looks like we're going in on foot with absolutely no armor and no no health. Wonderful. Alright, I'm going to put these health pots on our bar like that. And honestly, you can get cried up, big fella. Do we just leave him here? Let's scope ahead. I can't remember the exact location of where we're supposed to go. I just know we have to find those uh, those ruins. Let's keep running in through here. Is it here? I think it's through here. All right. This cave is just so massive. It's so easy to get lost in. I mean, let's see this way and see if there's anything here. There's a bunch of snakes. Oh god, there's snakes galore. I've only got couple of bits of ammunition. Pull that out. Oh gosh. Snakes stronger than it expected. That one's dead. That's dead. Oh gosh. That's dead. Is it more of your kind? No. That's it. Alright. Let's keep running this way then. Oh, it's our otter. It's freaking me out. Every time I think something's attacking us. That's a bunch of onyx. I don't want to go that way. They're following too. Don't want mega rabies again. Definitely don't want mega rabies again. And now the snake's coming out of the wall. Wonderful. Okay. I think we're okay here. We're okay. Oh, seriously? All that for a dead end? This must be like a cave drop or something. Well, that's disappointing. Well, I guess we don't come this way then. At least we know that. So let's cry up this Sarko and uh, we'll keep going on foot for now. Mr. Crocodile, mate, you've served us well. We're going to cry you up. <sighs> I love this cave. 
Just absolutely love it. All right, let's keep running and see how we go. I'm praying there's nothing too hostile through here. Nothing's going to come out of the walls and try to eat me. Yeah, this is the right way, I think. Oh! oh, of course we did. First strike. I guess we don't have any armor. Wonderful. Did we already get this one? Yeah, we did. All right, well, now we're going to babysit our bloody health as well now. Let's drink one of these at a time. Oh, yuck. I don't want to go that way. Okay. Glitching out Arthur Pleura, sure. Just keep drinking our magical juice and keep running through. Okay, that, I know that way. We're not going to go that way. I'm pretty sure that just leads to death and more death. Let's chug down another one of these. I thought that was a snake for a second. It's just a tree root. It's just a tree root, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. <gasps> Woo! All right, let's keep going through here. This is the big jumpy room. Oh, hello. Hey! And yoink, what do you got for me? I honestly will take the journeyman pants. They are pretty good. The cloth pants, on the other hand, not so much. <gasps> oh! That was close. He almost pushed us off the edge. I apologize for the testy pop as well. Let's chow down. Let's do that. Let's eat that. We're almost out of meat though. Oh gosh. Was there anything over here? I don't think there's any spawns over here, is there? No. Alright. Oh gosh. Alright, we're going to take a second here. We're going to get some of that back. Get some of that back. And we're just going to let our stamina recover. Um, I'm pretty sure if we drop down here... That takes us to the water, which takes us to the castle thingy. I'm just a bit worried about our Sarko's health. Yeah, because there's a ton of Mega Piranhas in here. Oh, and Sarko's apparently. That's right, we should be able to take the Sarko's easy. I'm just more worried about the Mega Piranhas. Look, there's already a bunch of them that have washed up on shore and died. I'm just going to force feed our Sarko some health here so he gets back, so he's actually able to take on these freaking Mega Piranhas. Because we don't have much, we've got no armor, so if we lose our Sarko, we are Dunskis. There is no way we're going to survive this. And we're out of food as well, wonderful. Do Sarko's, uh, do Mega Piranhas have all of us? I don't know. Let's just swim. Pretty sure it's through here. There it is. Alright, sweet. So we found the ruins! What? What the shit? How did he just die? What just happened? What actually just happened? Our Sarko just insta-died. What the fuck, gang? Oh, man. That means our bloody... Otter is dead as well. God damn it. What the shit, game? It just got straight up murdered for... Like, we didn't even break anything. We didn't go outside of the skybox. We didn't do anything. We just transitioned from water to land and it shouldn't have had that effect on the Sarko. That's hella frustrating. All right, we're going to have to grab... Uh, I don't know. We're going to have to grab someone. Baryonyx, maybe? I don't know. Probably just the, the, the saber, to be honest. I don't think I'm out of... I think I'm pretty much out of flies. Where's Fangs Jr.? Fangs Jr., mate, you're over here. That is so frustrating. And so dumb. Hold on, you got some levels. Take that melee damage. I'm going to grab that extra set of armor that we totally forgot is in him. I hope our water survives. I don't think it's going to because it's out there by itself. The only way it's going to survive is if everything misses it. But there's a bunch of Titan Bulbas there. Oh, we're going to make a saddle for this Tyrannodon and get back to the cave. Alrighty, guys, we managed to get everything back. The otter was still alive. It had a bunch of spiders and stuff around it, but it wasn't anything crazy. We got our body back as well, which is great. We've just got to try and survive here with all the cold. We managed to get down here. We've just got to kill these damn onyx. Oh, God, here they all come. Alright, I'm going to pull the shoddy out.
All right, awesome. So the artifact is over there on the cave wall. Uh, problem we're gonna have is surviving. I don't know. Let's get that on there and get that on there. Another issue is we're gonna make sure there's no mega piranhas or anything like that attacking us. So see that little entrance there? I'm pretty sure we showed you this guys last time. This will actually take us up to the artifact, and that's what I was worried about. The psycho coming in and attacking us. We should be able to take care of it, but it's still annoying nonetheless. Alright, I think we're okay. Let's get out of the water before we die. Can we get up this? Yep. Oh, can we do it without the grapple? Oh, Matt. Alright, sweet. I'll take that. If we can do it without a grappling hook, easy. Oh, cheering. Alright, sweet. Well, I mean, that kind of makes up for it, but we still lost our Sarko. That's ridiculous. Alright, artifact of the pack is right here. We're going to babysit it, and uh, we're going to get as many as we can so we don't ever have to come back to this shithole ever again. So, let the waiting begin. Alrighty, guys. We got quite a few of the artifacts. We got three, six here, seven. So, we got seven in total. We're going to get the hell out of this damn cave. Can't stand this cave. Uh, so yeah, but we shouldn't need to come back here for a very long time. If we can, can we get, can we fit through? We did just run out of food as well. Wonderful. I want to see if I can get my Sarko's body back. Because he had a Mastercraft saddle on him. So I'm just seeing quickly if we can see his bag. I'm not seeing it. And I don't really want to fight any more Mega Piranhas. Let's get out of here. Oh, it's still hella frustrating though. Like, he was our big boy Sarko and he had the Mastercraft saddle on him. <sighs> There's not much we can do, I guess. So, we're going to get out of here. Uh, is there anything I can eat? A few berries here and there. Let's eat all these. There we go. That should hold us till we get out. Let's go. I'm not even going to bother dealing with these bastards. We're just going to leg it. Just going to leg it straight for the exit and get out of here. But at least we got all the artifacts done, which is good. Um, still annoyed. Today's been a very bad episode. We lost our Overses and we've lost our Sarko to glitches. We lost our Pteranodon. Just lost a bunch of stuff. So hopefully this doesn't continue and we still hold on to some things. I'm just going to get off him and we're just going to cry him up and get out of here. We should be fine. I don't think Fangs Jr. has anything on him worth carrying. Do you have anything on you, mate? Uh, take that and that. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. Uh, this is Mr. Crocodile's death bag. <laughs> he was gone so soon. Uh, hopefully, there's nothing that we need to kill. We should be warm enough to get out of here. I'm pretty sure this is the exit anyway, just up here. Yeah, we should be fine. Awesome. All right, well, we're going to get out of the cave, and uh, I think we're going to wrap up the video for today, guys. So... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below as well for more. But on that, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.